So Red Bull invited me to Kelly Slater's Sir Franchise. It's gonna be with five of the professional athletes that I absolutely love. Like, no joke, I started surfing around two and a half, three years ago, and the reason why I got out there in the first place was because I literally watched every single Red Bull surfing documentary. For those who don't know, I didn't know how to swim before I learned how to surf, so. It's actually insane, so like, I'm just so happy to like, be here, and I'm just so nervous, because like, it means so much to me, like, you guys, you guys know, like, if you ever go to like, a Taylor Swift concert, even though you don't have to like, do anything, like, it's nerve-wracking, you know? Right now, I'm really nervous for tomorrow, like, all I can think about is just failing, like, I can't, like, you know, like, people say visualization's important, like, you do, yeah, like, I do that, like, I practice on this fucking balance board, I practice at, like, I, I just, like, I literally did not even get up, like, I was so frozen, and this happens before, like, when I'm super nervous or, like, when there's a really big wave, but today was, like, small, like, I know it's about this ranch, and I think I did some more research and it's hurting me. So for example, I thought tomorrow, like in this, you know, trip, I'd be surfing with maybe like people my level and like it's, I, I would get like three, four hours of, you know, surfing. Guess how much actual surfing I get? An hour? One wave is two minutes. Basically I have three waves and like each wave is $500. So like I should, I shouldn't probably research this because now I'm freaking, but basically I have three chances. Okay, so I feel a lot better after calling my friend Claire and I wanted to share the things I'm gonna take with me for tomorrow when I get anxious again. The first thing is to stay present. I learned from my friend Claire that when she's super nervous playing in a tennis match with high stakes, she just focuses on taking the first step versus trying to figure out how to win the match. She just focuses on hitting one single shot. So for me, I think I'm just gonna focus on having fun and just getting out in the water in the first place versus how do I pop up right down the line and like smile, have a good time, you know? The second thing I learned is to be open-minded. Claire says, whatever happens, happens. You don't want to fail twice, which basically means you might fall off the surfboard, you might have, you know, a mistake, but don't beat yourself up before failing and then after, you know what I mean? Like as humans, we might beat ourselves up if we make a small mistake, but don't, you know, worry like 10 hours before it because you don't want to fail twice. You don't want to beat yourself up more than you have to. The third thing I learned, the fear shall pass. Anxiety comes and goes and it will be okay. I think for me, like when I'm having my nervous breakdown, like I just have to remember that this whole thing will go away eventually. And it's okay if anxiety pops up and anxiety is there to protect you. It's there to make sure you're, you know, not in a life or death situation. So I'm just going to focus on like, letting the shell pass and i think for me my biggest fear um just going out tomorrow is like this is such an important thing for me like going to the surf ranch and surfing with these red bull professional athletes means so much like they're like <laughs> like i'm kind of nervous meeting them because like they mean so much to me like in the way of like they've inspired me to become better at surfing they have i mean they're like red bull athletes are so cool so i just want to do well because it means a lot to me other than that i'm gonna hear i'm here to have fun so I should just remember to have fun. Good morning, guys. I'm in my kitchen. This is the day of the surf ranch, and let's make a matcha. I feel weirdly calm right now. Also, if you guys are wondering, this is the best matcha ever. I think I talked about this before, but I have like 30 of these. It's so bad. I also feel like the reason why I'm so chill is because I've watched more and more videos of people going to the surf ranch and just people who talked about their first time surfing at a wave pool and everybody, no matter their skill level, has said the first few times of surfing in a surf ranch is like losing your virginity, like it's hard and like you might not understand how it works and it might be really awkward, but that's okay, like you don't have to beat yourself up. So I feel a little bit better. All right, uh, made my matcha. The last step is to put ice and milk on it. If you guys want to know, the best oat milk ever from Trader Joe's, super good. Put some ice in. I specifically used three cubes because I don't know why. <laughs> the right amount for me. And I put them around that much milk. Just right. All right. Um, I'm about to head out. There are people currently <laughs> doing construction on our roof, so I can't really talk much right now. All right, guys, so we're on our way to the surf ranch, but to be honest, I don't really know why I'm here. Um, what do you guys think? Should I should I be here? Yeah, I don't. 
Just go home. I think we're still here, so you can. The door's right there, right? Right. What do you think? Oh, you definitely belong here. Yeah. Sure. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, you belong, <laughs> Rich. I mean, you belong. Oh. <laughs> Two bullies. Rich is on my side. Nice one. Oh. <laughs> hey. Guys, I just changed. It's currently 6:40, and my heat starts in 20 minutes. So I'm not gonna give a full little uh, airstreamer tour where we're staying until tomorrow morning. But I'm about to head into the water in 20 minutes. I'm so fucking nervous, but all in all, I'm just so stoked. So the next time you'll see me, hopefully you'll see some good footage. Hopefully you just see me have fun because I'm a little nervous. All right, bye guys. Chase your dreams, do what you love, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Afternoon to all you wonderful surfers. I'm hosting a stretch session series. This is a way that we can check in with our bodies and make sure that we are in sync with ourselves so we can be in sync with the waves in the water. Let's go. All right. I'm back from the wave pool. My eyes are bloodshot still. Like I cannot see. Like I think because I was just staring at the sun all day surfing. But anyways, I'm back home and I'm just so thankful that this happened. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm seriously so thankful for every single one of you. I would have never gotten this opportunity without you guys, without Red Bull, of course, but you guys were the start. So thank you so much. I hope this inspired you. If you are a surfer, a creator, an entrepreneur, just to do the thing that scares you, even if you're not ready for it, because look at me as an example, you know, I am not a professional athlete, but I always put myself out there and it's always worth it because, you know, being courageous in life is one of the most important skills to have because that's how you get outside your comfort zone. That's how you set your goals. That's how you achieve them. And I think we should all do that more. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you are familiar with the wave pool, let me know how sick this video was. Because if you know, you know. Right now, my motto has just been to upload at least once a month when I have interesting content. But if you guys want more content, let me know what that should be. Because honestly, on YouTube, I just want to like make content that's good versus just posting every week. But I know you guys say you miss my vlogs, so I'll do anything for you guys. You guys brought me here in the first place. So hopefully, I'm more consistent. But yeah. All right. Bye.